here's Donald Trump, and there is look. There's been a draft put out uh, of uh, an executive order de- dealing with religious freedom. I'm not even going to chase that down until we get a real one because I'm not convinced that they're not just putting out every single draft that any lunatic in the uh, White House comes up with just to f with people. And I'm you know going to do my best not to be a part of that. But here is Donald Trump at the prayer breakfast having dispensed with his criticism of Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, ratings power uh, in a reality show. He is now moving on to the idea of religious freedom is under attack. He's not talking about his ban on Muslims from entering the country. Freedom of religion is a sacred right, but it is also a right under threat all around us, and the world is under serious, serious threat in so many different ways. And I've never seen it so much and so openly as since I took the position of president. The world what? is in trouble, but we're going to straighten it out, okay? That's what I do. I fix things. We're going to straighten it out. Believe me. When you hear about the tough phone calls I'm having, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. They're tough. We have to be tough. It's time we're going to be a little tough, folks. We're taken advantage of by every nation in the world virtually. It's not going to happen anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. Was there an applause line after that as people are like, we've been taken advantage of by Australia? I mean, look. Australia's been getting away with murder. How, what do we get from them, right? Like they send us Crocodile Dundee. We haven't gotten anything from them from since like Xena. Media, right? or, media executives. Media executives, media executives. are nice to him. No, but that's the, right, that's the problem, though, when you have a narcissist in charge. He literally cannot disagregate. What, whatever he's personally, I don't know what Australia did to him, but with whatever all Australia sorts of things with from us, they no, literally whatever they did to him has been done to us. So in 1986, if some girl he was trying to paw went with an Australian guy ahead of him, you that's us. He did. There was that story. Do you remember? No. We played the video of this. He went to Australia, I think, at one point, and was giving a... a was that Australia? I think where he that was Australia, where that he woman? insulted that woman and had her come up, and he got dissed by her. And there you go. That's what they did to us. They've been taking advantage where the women yes. and the models don't want to introduce me. Yes. And that's going to end, believe me. There's like these Australian foreign policy makers like, maybe we could find the woman that did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and she can release an apology. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> and then we can have bilateral it's, relations. Like, this, is, this, is, this would be like, like, <gasps> this would be like you could do like, like, an, like an Independence Day movie where it's like the whole world tries to get this one uh, model <laughs> from Australia to, to record an apology to stop, you know, the coming apocalypse. And we just got to get this video to President Trump so he can see it. And there's no. And then Bannon sees the video, finally gets delivered, and he's like, I'm doomed. It's right. Done. No, he's what, what yeah. Bannon does is he hides down in the basement of the White House and tries to tackle the, uh, the you know, Will Smith before he gets up with the, uh, with the smart card that has the video that he's delivered. Here's the person. apology, Mr. I've President. <laughs> no! 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 I hate my ex wife. I want to have <laughs> World War III. I read about the Peloponnesian Wars on a bender once. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's such an inspiration to guys who just get drunk and read the classics, basically. I mean, he really took that whole archetype to another level. I, that is the one thing I will say about modern, uh, not just politics, but like there's a whole bunch of people that even as much as like six months ago, I'd be like... <clears throat> Eh, whatever. Go go hate Muslims, virgin. Or like, you know, go, yeah, sure. I would love to hear your theory about why Rome collapsed. Like, go to the gym. Shut up. Now all of a sudden it's like, 
I take you extremely right. seriously. Right. It was a mistake to not do so before. Um, the yeah, well, yeah. but I think there is a, you know an argument to be made that Australia has been sort of just. I don't know. They've been causing a lot of problems. They send all their fosters over here and. Jesus Christ. She apologized. Said, tell okay. the troops you know, to stand honestly, down. Honestly, though, when you do think about it, right, all they do, half the country just spends its time mostly just like surfing or hanging out at the beach. They eat their mushy pies. What do they do for us? When was the last time Australia did anything for us? What mushy pies? Huh? What mushy pies? They eat these mushy uh, pies that like have like ground peas. It's just unbelievable. And Zeps hasn't had, had us on Weed of People Live in several months. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, that's another problem. Classic. Classic Australian. Classic Australian move. <laughs> hey, man, can I use your, um, your studio? No. Good day, mate. Good day. Listen. Hey, how's it going? Uh, got some shrimps? I could bring you over on the barbie. Can I use your studio? <laughs> and that, that, the way they say no, no, like not no, it's like no. Yeah. God damn, you got it. Such pricks. Can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait until I have my beachfront property in Cannes, which you mispronounce. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. We're going to take that entire goddamn reef. Sucking up all the, uh, sucking up all the reefs. We're doing, it, it. doing it in our face, which, as you know, is important. It's our face. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, we're about China staying in our face, and my ex-wife wants my kids to go to school with a bunch of Jews. Aussie rules football. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> 